What is going on everybody? It is Ian here with Miller Garage and we have all sorts of stuff going on in the shop. Uh, up here we have three trailers out in front. We have one inside. Um, we have one over here in our brand new shell lift zone where we got the shell lift gantries as well as our awesome new uh, rotisserie. If you haven't checked that out yet, you need to check out. We did a video on that rotisserie. It is linked in the description and it shows how we built that and, and how amazing it is. But um, right now we're gonna go check out this frame. Uh, we got the shell off and my guys tore it down. And so I need to go check out, see where we are, the condition of everything. And um, hopefully everything looks good, but we shall see, so. All right. That is uh, that is pretty rough. All right, so I was a I was a little bit nervous about this frame whenever it came in. It the the rear of it was sagging quite a bit, and uh, I had definitely seen it had rear end separation back there because the rear bath pretty common. Um, and you know, my hope was that the frame was still, you know, pretty good, but we just had to fix some of the problems. Uh, you know, rear end separation is not usually indicative of frame damage. It's just when the shell, the subfloor rots out and the shell just detaches. But, um, oh wow. Yeah, this frame is, so right now I'm seeing that pretty much all the outriggers along this side are gone. Um, that cross member is for sure gone. Can't really tell. Yeah, that one's gone. Looks like at some point it had repairs because there's a piece of channel in here uh, that they welded in and it's bracing. That outrigger's gone. That one's completely just not even there. It looks like that <laughs> had come off at some point in its life. Um, there's a giant crack in the frame right here there's a crack in the frame there the frame's bent and twisted i can see over there and there that i noticed over there there's some rot back there um yeah i am it is definitely not looking good so after evaluating the frame it definitely this one is really rough this might be in fact one of the worst frames that I've seen, uh, which is really unfortunate. But um, you know, there are definitely options here. So what uh, what I'm going to do now is, you know, there's no sense in continuing to, you know, normally we would strip all the rust, clean it all up, and get it ready to paint, do any repairs that need be. But um, to be honest, I don't think that this is going to be salvageable as a as an entire frame. Um, so. What we'll probably need to do is to just build an entirely new frame for this. So that's going to be getting new main beams, all new cross members, all new outriggers, um, axle mount location plates, all that kind of stuff. And so uh, I need to put together a quote on this and figure out what all that's going to be and then go back to the client and see how they want to go from here. Um, you know, there's obviously the chance that they may decide to abandon the project, but um, they seem pretty committed to doing it. The shell is in really good shape. It's back there, and um, that looks really good. Uh, we're rebuilding the windows already, working on that, and it's, you know, obviously all gutted. So, you know, I think we're going to probably move forward with this, but uh, for right now, we're going to obviously make that their decision. So... All right, so there was some uh, some fun finds in the middle of this. We got some wasps' nests, mud daughters, and then uh, we have the new we got our new shop mascot, little little mummified mouse or rat. I guess it's probably a rat. Uh, so we'll just we'll call him King Tut, and we'll keep him. And no, not really. But <laughs> he always finds some pretty disgusting things in these. So we talked to the clients about the frame and they are good with going ahead and building a new frame. Uh, so we are going to basically get some measurements off this one, uh, get all of our dimensions, lengths, all that kind of stuff. And then uh, we're just gonna strip this thing, uh, just cut it up into pieces and then just take it to the scrapyard. So the only part that we're gonna retain is gonna be in the front, the A 
uh, frame part where the hitch attached. That is still in good enough shape. Um, there is some light surface rust, but since that tube is actually a little bit higher up inside the, the actual frame rails, um, that generally does not get damaged. So that stuff's all good, um, but everything else is just gonna be chopped up and gotten rid of. So uh, I need to get the metal ordered and everything for that so that we can uh, put it, you know, put all that stuff in the shop and build it. We're also gonna be ordering new axles. So um, hopefully their turnaround times are a little bit better. It had been getting up to six to eight weeks, but I think they're down to about two to three weeks now. So hopefully we'll be able to get those real quick. So we need to get this shell back on uh, the new frame that we're gonna be building. So we got all the metal and now it's time to start building the frame. So I'm gonna start by uh, cleaning up some parts of this main frame with acetone. Um, and then up at the front, there's uh, little angled cuts where it essentially accommodates the, uh, like the banana wraps and stuff. So um, I'm gonna get that cut first so then we can basically start laying out these main beams on the floor in here because the floor is level. So we're gonna lay those out on here and get um, some of our cross members tacked into place. So we finished the main part of the frame. We got the frame rails and the cross members as well as uh, the original front A-frame and hitch and all that stuff. Uh, we got all that welded up and it is all squared and leveled and all that. So it is looking really good. Really happy with how this is coming along. This frame is gonna be a lot stronger and um, sturdier. It is gonna weigh more, which is a, kind of, it's one of those good bads, uh, obviously you know, the added weight means it's stronger and so it can ultimately, you know, you don't, you don't have to have quite as much limitations on the interior build out and then, uh, you know, obviously just, it's gonna last longer and then, you know, negatives being that we're gonna have to re-weigh the whole trailer once it's done uh, for its gross vehicle weight rating and then, the, you know, there's a good chance that Whenever you do something like this, you may need to upgrade a tow vehicle, not 100% sure. And if you are doing something similar and you're upgrading a frame and or you are just getting into having a travel trailer and you need a tow vehicle, you guys need to check out Planet Ford 635. They are here in Garland, Texas. It is where I got my super awesome F-250, which is right now sitting uh, in, in the shop front cover area. And uh, they can take care of you on your tow vehicle needs. They are an award-winning dealership. Lots of options there. F-150s, 250s. They got that new Power Boost F-150 that you can literally run your Airstream off of. It has 30 amp hookup in the truck. It's really cool. Um, and Super Duties, all that stuff. So go check them out. Link is below in the description. Um, and we're going to get back to this. Uh, we got all the outriggers prepped, and I'm going to start welding those on on the floor so we can continue keeping everything level. Once we have that done, then we're going to lift it up and put it on jack stands and then weld our uh, side axle plates on. So all of that is coming up.
frame complete, the next step is going to be to paint it. So we got it mounted on our rotisserie here, which is the easiest and best way to paint. And uh, it's, it's all cleaned up and ready to go. So I'm gonna be using Eastwood's uh, Rust Encapsulator Platinum for the first coat. And then I'm going to be spraying the visible areas with chassis black. So like our tongue and the, uh, the wheel well opening and then the rear rails and everything. Uh, on the tongue and the rear, we're gonna have to obviously we disconnect it from the rotisserie whenever we're gonna do that. So, so I'm gonna get to it and we're gonna get this thing painted. All right, so we got the frame completed, and as you can see, we have already started to put the floor down. Um, and on this one, we're using the, the Kusa Marine Board. So this is actually gonna be the fourth trailer that we are using this on. And then we have three more trailers coming up that we're also using this stuff on. It is phenomenal. Uh, we definitely offer this, and to be honest, most people now are going with this instead of plywood, because it is much, much better. We have you know several other videos where we fully detail that, but... Um, so this all turned out really good, really happy with the frame. And if you are needing any of this kind of stuff done, like a new frame built for your trailer, um, you know, subfloor replacement, uh, pretty much anything, we obviously offer that. And uh, right now we are very busy, we're very booked out, but definitely reach out to us um, and we can put you in line and we'd love to help you out on your trailer. Also, if you're working on your own stuff, we have some amazing resources coming up very soon. We uh, fully shot our subfloor replacement online course that's gonna be coming out hopefully uh, in July. That's kind of my target. So um, then there'll be a full line of courses, uh, online courses that we're developing. We've shot some stuff. We have a lot more to do um, and that'll be kind of coming out progressively throughout the year. Hopefully by the end of the year, I should have a uh, pretty comprehensive course load for uh, our, our project, which is called Airstream U. That's going to be uh, coming out there. Depending on when you're watching this, there may be a link in the, in the description. So um, that'll probably be, you know, after July. But look forward to that and uh, really appreciate all of you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook and we will see you next time.